Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joel Tolentino here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the style of jump cut editing. So jump cut editing is a style in which you cut out all the pauses and the breaks and just mistakes in your videos and you only have the good parts and it makes for really fast cuts. Now I started doing this in my tutorials, but I didn't even know that that was a type of editing style. I didn't know that it was called jump cut. I was just doing it because I thought it was entertaining and it would make the video a lot more shorter and a lot more concise and straight to the point. So that's why I started editing like that. I think jump cut editing, the style of doing that is way more entertaining on YouTube because people's attention spans are really short and I feel like when you do the jump cut style, it keeps the viewer more engaged. So let me show you how to do this on Camtasia. So right now I'm on Camtasia and I'm actually filming a bunch of tutorials today. I'm on my third one right now. This is the third one for Wednesday and I'm gonna show you how I do the jump cut editing style. So I've got one of my clips on the timeline right now. And as you can see, you can see like the audio here, there's not much audio and then there's a bunch of audio here and then a space and then a bunch of audio and then a space and then a bunch of audio. The reason why you see it like that is on purpose because I'm saying a line and then I'm pausing and then I'm saying some stuff and then I'm pausing. I do that for a couple of reasons. I do that so that one, I'm not rambling, and two, I can just say certain lines and certain messages in a certain way rather than going long, long, long and then making a mistake. When I do it in short bursts, I have a less chance of making a mistake, and when you do make a mistake, it's okay because you can take it out really easily. So I'm gonna show you live here how to do the editing style. So right now this video is quite long, it's 10 minutes and 49 seconds. I'll do the first like minute or so so that you guys can get a feel for it. So you can see here, this is the beginning of vi the video. So I'm probably preparing my hair or just getting ready mentally to start the video. So I'll just play it for you. I'll play it for you in its original and then I'll show you the jump cut editing technique. So I'm just grabbing a coffee there. I always make sure to have a drink of something before I start. And I'm thinking of what I'm gonna say. I'm smiling first. Hey guys, how's it going? And it's then I start speaking. So in this video, I am going to be sharing what's in my camera bag. So I'm gonna be sharing what I take along with me, whether it be I'm shooting locally or if I'm going on vacation. So as you can see, I've paused there. So that was like the first chunk. So that like, if you have a hard time memorizing, doing it in sections makes it a lot easier. I'm a horrible at memorizing things. I wouldn't make a very good actress because I can't memorize long scripts. I need to do it in like sentence bites, like as short as possible for me. So now we're gonna start doing the jump cut editing style. So first of all, You'll see certain patterns. So right here, I know that I'm going to start cutting right here. So I'm just going to choose a place with the cursor and all right, I'm do I'm half smiling there. So I'm going to clip it from there and I'm going to highlight it and I'm going to delete. Then I'm going to highlight the entire thing and move it all up to the beginning. Now at the very end, I'm talking about the bag and then there's a pause again. So I'm just gonna play it. Whether it be I'm shooting locally or if I'm going on vacation. So now I'm going to stop and I'm gonna get my cursor as close to the end as possible because I want to remove any of that dead air. So if you go close, you can see that I'm quite to the edge of the audio. Now, if you wanna go closer in the timeline, you just click this magnifying glass right here. So that's the end of that audio. I want to get as close to that as possible. So I'm going to click split. Then I'm going to play a bit of the first one, the, the, a bit of the second part here, the first section, to make sure that it's a clip that I'm going to be using. Okay, so let's start off with the bag itself. 
itself as you can see okay so I'm, t I'm still talking about the bag so now I'm gonna clip it I'm gonna clip all this dead air out so let me just show you what it what it looks like with all that dead air in there so it froze there just for a second that's normal I'm just thinking of what I'm gonna say next and I'm preparing myself Alright, so as you can see, there was a bunch of dead air. We don't need that. That's not entertaining for people. So, I am going to cut it to the next clip. And I'm going to move the cursor so I don't look like this. So, <laughs> I don't want to start it off while I'm looking like that. And I'm blinking there. So, I want to make sure... We're going to start it right here. Now you might be thinking, why do you want to start it right there? Well, it's actually going to be moving so fast that it's going to be okay. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to clip it. I'm going to click delete, highlight this, move it over. And now it's going to play right after each other. So the thing with Camtasia, when you're working on it, when it's going from one clip to another it's going to like this part of the video might not play properly and i'll show you what i mean but it's okay if i'm going on vacation okay so let's start off with so as back. you can see it kind of froze there a little bit but when you start back from the beginning it's going to start normal okay so let's start off with the bag itself and when you render it and when you make it a final video it won't freeze like that it just does that while in the editor it's just weird like that sometimes so it's okay if that happens. So as you can see, I'm talking here for a bit, talking here for a bit, and then now there is going to be another gap. So let me just play the end here. I really like the handle on this. So that is the case. So I paused there. Now the reason why I paused was I was probably running out of things to say and when you're on camera and you're filming there's so many like things happening and, and there's lights everywhere that you can forget what you're saying so whenever that happens I do a pause collect my thoughts and then I start speaking again and then I just cut that part out I don't need to start all the way from the begin beginning again because if I do that then it would just take me forever to film one video so I'm going to go to the end of this clip cut it and go right to the beginning of this one just right here and I'm gonna highlight this delete that so you're making a lot of pieces in your video all right I'm talking for a bit talking for a bit and then something may have happened here so let's see what's going on there now I would normally be playing through all of this but because I'm showing this in a tutorial I don't want this video to be super long so that's why I'm just doing it rough but you want to make sure to play your video that you that if you do make a mistake that you're gonna be removing it I'm just showing you the obvious mistakes to remove what time. so here's the GoPro so I'm putting the GoPro and down so I'd rather just take that out so I'm going to, again, highlight, click split, move the cursor over. Then I'm going to highlight, click split, highlight, delete, highlight, move over. So that's pretty much all that you're going to be doing. So I'm just going to, I'm going to just clip it right here and I'm going to render this video and show you the fast cuts that are going to be happening at the end. So I'm just going to delete the rest and I'm going to produce this video. I'm going to render it. This is going to be a jump cut test so I can show you guys what it looks like in a final video when you do the jump cut editing technique. So I'm going to click finish and I'll be right back when this video is done. Okay, so the video's all done, so let's see what it looks like with the jump cut editing style. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. So in this video, I am going to be sharing what's in my camera bag. So I'm gonna be sharing what I take along with me, whether it be I'm shooting locally 
or if I'm going on vacation. Okay, so let's start off with the bag. So you saw there, you that was the first jump cut right there was when I was putting the bag down and then all of a sudden I'm picking it back up. You remember there was dead air in there. So it allows me to say that first line, pause, collect my thoughts, and then say the second line without going through it all through one. Because when you do it like that, I find that the viewer might get bored, especially if you're not being entertaining, if you're not saying anything entertaining, that the jump cut editing style will help make up for that. Okay, let's continue on. As you can see, it's small. It's not very clunky. I don't like a huge camera bag to be carrying a huge camera bag. I don't want the stuff to be super heavy. So that's why I chose to get a small one. So this I got from Amazon.ca and I like it because it doesn't look like a typical case. Like it's not black, it's gray and it's got a little bit of a pattern if you see closely. And it's called Ev case. So I like it. It's got a great cushion. And I know this sounds weird, but this has a great handle. I always talk about when I'm carrying it, it feels really good. So I really like the handle on this. So that is the case. Okay, so let's. So you saw the second one there. So I said that was the case, and then I go, okay, let's open it up. So there was a long space there. So I was running out of things to, to say, and I was pausing, and just things can get a little muddled up in your brain while you're filming, and you just need to take a pause sometimes. So that is the jump cut editing style. I encourage you guys to try it out on your videos. I personally think it's a lot easier to film with this kind of style and I think it's a lot more entertaining. I think it adds more value and entertainment value to your videos. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If you want more Camtasia videos, feel free to check out the description. I've got a ton more tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.